in front there, a pallbearer in this case bearing her mortal remains as she takes her final journey to the crematorium in Gandhi Nagar. Her mortal remains were brought there just a short while before uh, Narendra Modi reached there as well. And in the visuals that we saw from inside their bungalow, he prostrated himself at the mortal remains of his mother. He laid a wreath there and he took her blessings for one last time. And then the mortal remains were picked up. He was in the front. He bore her body to the ambulance. He stepped into the ambulance and he is now joined her last journey. Sad, tragic visuals here. She passed away at the age of 100, a centenarian at 3.30 a.m. at the UN Mehta Hospital in Ahmedabad, where she had been taken a day and a half earlier, uh, now 48 or so hours ago, after complaints of uh, having difficulty breathing and blood pressure issues. We were given some amount of hope that she may recover because the bulletins and the updates had said from the hospital that uh, her condition was improving. But uh, she tragically passed away at 3.30 a.m. Priyanka has been telling us and recounting uh, many stories over the years from when uh, the Prime Minister would visit her. Uh, it would be many occasions uh, before elections are held, many after he had won. Let's listen in now to what's happening there. All right, so we also see uh, several neighbors, several family members, in fact, uh, chanting prayers for Hiraba Modi. You can see uh, several uh, neighbors, in fact, uh, the ladies of this uh, particular place that have particular society, in fact, uh, they have gathered and they are chanting prayers for Hiraba Modi.